Chanting Let Us Play, a group of local high school students took to the streets today in Lindsay to protest the cancellation of school day sports and other extracurricular activities within the Trillium Lakelands District School Board. The board announced the cancellation on Tuesday night, citing a lack of supply staff to cover things such as sick days, bereavement days, now that teachers are not covering for colleagues who are absent. We have analyzed some of our data with regard to being able to cover classroom programs uh, over the last number of months. We believe that with teachers not covering on calls, that's the section of their contract that says when other teachers are away, they are required to cover for their colleagues. At this point in time, they are not honoring that part of the agreement that we have with them. And so we are required now to call in supply teachers anytime a teacher is absent. There are a number of things that we could never predict on any given day. For example, illness, for example, bereavement, other kinds of leaves that folks are entitled to. This leaves us in a position of having to make a decision as to whether we allow extracurricular activities to happen during the day or whether we try to protect classroom programming. And that is our number one priority in this. We have a number of days across the system because we have a limited number of supply teachers that, were, that are available to us where we have had to cancel classes. That means we either bring students into cafeterias, they're supervised by administrators, perhaps we allow senior students to sign out of school or out of classes, uh, perhaps we uh, simply compress classes and, and put them all together. There are a lot of things we uh, will do in those instances that are not ideal. We took this decision also partially because we're not prepared to simply say, well, principals and vice principals can cover the classes. That's simply not true. They have a lot of other responsibilities in their schools on any given day. And given the fact that, that we are in a strike situation, those duties and responsibilities are only increasing on any given day. Both the students though and the union say that your board has not kept up with hiring the correct number of um, supply teachers. Sure. So uh, what's not talked about is the fact that we're capped in terms of the number of supply teachers that we're permitted to have. In our but you board, can hire eight more according to so the union. We can hire, actually we've hired 16 more and we are in the process of hiring eight more. It's important to note that those numbers have only been negotiated in the last couple of months where we have come to agreement. I must give the union credit for um, allowing us, if you will, to increase the number of supply teachers on the list. Our number should be around 99 that we're allowed and that would be across Halliburton, Muskoka and Kawartha Lakes. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mitigate the fact that there will still be days when we're going to have a difficult time covering classes because we don't have those on-calls available to us that are in the collective agreement that teachers must do. They've decided that this is the safest um, option for TLDSB, although it is the only one on Ontario so far um, cancelling extracurriculars after school. And how do you feel about that? Um, we're as a community very upset about it. Uh, it affects a lot of us deeply. Um, we also feel very singled out since we're the only one and kind of discriminated against, especially since geographically we have a large region so we can understand how it can be difficult to cover all of the schools within the region. But at the same time, we're not like a very small school board and we still have a lot of extracurriculars and there's a lot of sporting potential within our community. Meanwhile, we see other school boards that have the exact same issue dealing with this with a more effective way of actually still keeping teachers within the classroom and still running their extracurricular activities.